Hey guys, welcome back to another integration video. So here we'll be looking to integrate sex squared with the inside term being 2 minus x with respect to x. So how do we actually do this? Well, there's actual there's an actual definition this way. I mean, um, I'm not going to show you the long way because when it comes to solving this, you want to know the, the general rules. So we should know off the bat that when you integrate sex squared, let's just say sex squared, x just call it x squared x dx this will always return at 10 x plus c the reason behind this because once you should before you did this integration of course you should have learned from differentiation that the derivative of 10 x always returns sex squared x and this is from using the quotient rule so you switch the sign over cos let u be sine let v be cos use the quotient rule and boom you get this so of course the inverse of this one the integral of this one must be this term Okay, it must be tan itself. So that's pretty much the idea. So how do we solve this one? The problem with this one is that there's a different term inside, which is not really a problem. But for the sake of convenience, let's use substitution. So suppose we let u equal 2 minus x. Easy. Take the derivative, what do we get? We get du, or du over dx equals, the derivative of this one is just minus 1. Now multiplying both sides by dx, we get du equals minus dx. Or, to make it even better, dx equals minus du, since we want to replace dx. Yeah, and literally that's it. Now popping everything back in, what do we have? So now we have the integral of sex squared, replacing 2 minus x with u. And this becomes minus d, so put minus there, du. And of course, this is straight up, as we said, tan x. So this would just be minus tan u plus c and tan u of course is 2 minus x so i mean to be honest this isn't too bad if you can remember this property and the inverse chain the, the reverse chain rule or whatever you want to call it then this should be no problem but yeah guys this is literally how you solve this problem i mean if you've got any other questions let me know so this, this can work with any single problem you just let this one be you re recognize that this is already an identity and boom voila you have this solution but yeah ciao guys and i shall see you in the next video Bye bye